Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on this little Tila bracelet. And this bracelet is sort of a combination of a couple of videos that I made quite a long time ago. So one was the Cleopatra bracelet and the other one was the tile we'll meet again where I used tile beads and they were very old videos. So I just want to take a moment to thank those of you who have been with me this long because I had to go back and look at these to sort of combine them. Um, into one bracelet and uh, while the pieces are pretty I'm sort of cringe cringeworthy back then <laughs> I appreciate you hanging with me because while you've learned to be during this all these years I've kind of learned to be a better teacher and to not talk so much all right so that being said, I'm going to um, clear this off. We're going to get a materials list going, going to get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you need a teal bead, and this one is from Eureka Crystal Beads' most recent collection. So if you've ordered that guy, then you can use that. You need a Super Duo. You need one or two colors of 11 O's. Those are just the accent beads here. You need a three millimeter bugle bead, some 15 O seed beads. I have these um, symbol endings for teal beads. So if you happen to have this ending, that's fine. This is the one I used here on this. But if you have the larger one, like this is sort of like a half teal, I guess, and this is maybe a full one, um, it's, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to, to start both so that you're, you're, the pattern will be the same for, for either one. So whichever one you have will work. I have a clasp that's going to go on the end. So here, it's, this is just like a hook and a ring. So I'm going to attach it like so. So maybe a few jump rings to attach your um, clasp or your, um, yeah, to attach the, the clasp part. I have a, a few charms here. I'm sort of loving putting the charms on the end. I think it's pretty. So if you want to put charms on, you know, grab a couple of charms. Uh, I've got a stop bead here. I have some six pound, eight pound fire line. You can even use wildfire here. I have a size 10 beading needle. Love these little cases. Uh, don't forget the Ringberry's uh, bead mat. Um, Bronze Pony 10 is the coupon code, so you get 10% off. I just got these new blue ones. I think they're so pretty. And here's the No More Oops bead tray. Everything is down in the description box below the video, so please check uh, check it. Click the down arrow or the show more. You know the drill. All sizes, colors, amounts, everything will be down there. Anything I forget, any more info that I have to give you will be down there. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle, needle with about five feet of thread, put on a stop bead and leave about a 10 inch tail because we're going to use that tail um, for something at the end here. So if you notice, well one thing, I switched my beads because the original bead I was going to use was so reflective that it was, it was wreaking havoc with my light. So there were reflections all over the place. So this was the bead I was going to use. It's so beautiful. That's from the Eureka Beads collection. So use your beads, but it just didn't work well for, for filming. So I switched to a more matte bead so that the light doesn't reflect so much. All right, so we have two different findings here, and I'm going to pull in to show you that. So here's the original finding that I used on the bracelet. And this is sort of a half tealer here, okay? And this one is the one that came in my collection. This is a whole tealer. So we can make either one work. So I want you to be able to do either one, depending on whether, you know, whether you have the collection or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tealer. And if you notice, a tealer has sort of a rounded side. That's the upside. And then one side is flat. That's the bottom. Honestly, I, I don't know that you can really tell the difference, but I always try to keep that side up. Sometimes I mess up and I, it doesn't end up on the right side. But um, So you want to always keep that sort of domed side up. So you're going to just put a teal in each opening of your... Up here, so let me pull this out just to show you. So here and there, I'm just going to put a teal in each opening. So they both have two openings. So this one... For this one, I've put the teal right butt up against the, the finding itself. So that top hole is in line with the only hole that's on the finding. And when I put my needle through, to 
of course only goes through when I'm not on camera. There, okay, okay. So when I put my needle through, this is what it looks like. All right, just like that. So on this one, I'm going to put the tila with the top hole in line with the bottom hole of the finding. And then do you see how there's a top hole here? It's hard to see. It's right here. There's going to be a little space here. And, the, and we're going to fill in that space later. So don't worry about that. Um, so this gives me a level playing field. So however, whichever finding you're using, you can, you will be starting in the exact same place if you put the beads on this way. Okay, so I'm just going to let you get that done, get your beads set up to this point, put your needle right through, and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to continue on with this one. Because the other one is simple. You know, there's nothing you have to add to it. All right, so here, as you can see, I have my thread going through the second hole of my finding, and then my it's through the top hole of each tila, just like that. So whether you're doing the other one or this one, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so the other one will just look like that. I'm going to pick up a tila. I'm going to take this tila, and I'm just going to sew through the next tila. Put that tila on like that. I'm going to pick up a tila, just going to sew through the next tila, like that. Going to pick up a tila, I'm going to sew through, I'm going to go up this way now, so I want to put this one on, here, you know, we'll, do, we'll put it on, just so that you get an idea of how that's working. So if I just lay it there, I'm going to go through the tila like that that lays on my next one okay and see how it's not connected I'm just going to sew through this one and through the whole line of tilas and the 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 um, the ending right there Okay, so the finding. So just like that, I'm going to pull. It's going to put that bead on, just like that. Okay, so this is the same, you know, either piece, starting with sort of a little peyote beginning here. So there I'm exiting the finding. I'm just going to sew down, back down through all the beads. Like that. So through this one, top of this one, bottom of this one, top of this one, bottom of this one, top of this one. Like that. Okay, so I'm just going to let you get to that point and then we'll continue. Okay, so let's get some beading in. So here I'm exiting this tila right here. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's, whatever color you like. Exiting here, just going to sew through the other side of the tila. I'm exiting, puts a little pico on right there. And then I'm going to pick up a 15 0, a bugle bead, and a 15 0. Oops, got an 11 0 there. I'm going to sew through the next tila. So either ending, this is, we're doing the same thing 15 0, bugle bead. 15 0, sew through the next tila. I'm going to pick up three 11 0's. I'm going to sew through the other side of the tila I'm exiting, and then down all the beads again until I come out of the tila on the other side. Like that. And then I'm going to sew back up through all the beads. Now you can go through the, the pico beads, but I'm just going to skip them. And then up through all these beads as well. And I'm only going to exit the tila. Like that. Pull. That's what it looks like. I'm going to pick up a tila. Exiting here, I'm going to sew up through this one. So just 
sewing up to the other end of the bead I'm exiting. So I'm kind of square stitching a little bit here. Pop that down like that and then down through this hole of this tila right here. Hold it with my thumb and forefinger. I'm going to try this bead. I'm going to pick up a, an 11-0 a Super Duo, an 11-0, and a Tila. Exiting here, I'm going to sew up through this Tila right here, just the Tila. Like that. When I pull, it's going to sit that, sit that um, group right there. So I'm exiting here. You want to attach it by sewing through this one. Gonna pull. That's what I have. I'm going to pick up an 11 0, a Super Duo, and an 11 0, and a Tila. Pick up this one. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this tila, so right up, just through the tila. When I pull, it's going to sit that bead right next to that tila, next to this tila, but I have to connect it, so I have to connect this one to this one. I'm going to sew through this hole. Like that. I'm going to pick up three of my 11 O's, sew up through the other side of the tila I'm exiting to put that pico on. Now I'm going to pick up an 11-0, sew through the super duo, pick up an 11-0, sew through the next tila, pick up an 11-0, sew through the next super duo, pick up an 11-0, sew through the next tila. That's the easy, super easy row. <laughs> pick up three 11 O's. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through, just through this tila, not going all the way down, just through the tila, like that. Back up through the other side of the tila, just the tila, like that. And this is what I have so far. Okay, so I'm just going to let you get to that point and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, let's continue. So I'm going to pick up a tila. Exiting here. I'm going to just sew through the other side of the bead I'm exiting, like that. Put this guy on, and I'm going to sew down through this one. I'm going to pick up a 15-0, a bugle bead, and a 15-0, and a tila. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through the next tila, just the tila. That, give it a pull. That's what it looks like. I have to connect these two. I'm just going to sew through this side of the tila I just put on. Pick up a 15 0, a bugle bead, a 15 0, and a tila. Exiting here, just sew up through this one. Pull that into place. Now we're going to connect the two by sewing through this one like that. That's what we have. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the other side of the tila I'm exiting. I'm going to pick up a 15-0, a bugle bead, and a 15 -0. I'm just going to sew through the next tila. I'm going to pick up a 15-0, a bugle bead, and a 15-0. I'm going to 
to sew through the next. Tila. Like that. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm going to sew down through this side and through all the beads. You can include the pico on the bottom. I'm just going to sew through the tila on the bottom and then, you know, just go up. But you can, like I said, go through all of these. Then I'm going to sew up through all of these beads. And make sure you're getting all the beads, that you're not missing anything. Just like that. So this is what we have so far. All right, so get that done and then come on back. We'll do a little bit more together and then I'll send you off on your own. Okay, we're back. So for those of you who just want to go off on your own, I'm going to do a few more rows with you. But those of you who just want to go off on your own, you're going to repeat from the Super Duo row. So you see this, so I'm skipping where I put the first bugle bead in and I'm just, you're just going to repeat from this Super Duo and then these two bugle bead beads right here and just the next row is going to be super duo, then two bugle bead rows, and then next super duo, and so on. And then the ending is going to have the one at the end. So you're just going to do that all the way down um, until you have, you know, about the less than the length of your bracelet, of course, because you have to consider, you know, the size of this and then the clasp that you're putting on. So, you know, get close to the end and then we'll, you know, keep wrapping it around your wrist and then we'll continue. But I'm going to go on and do a little bit more of, you, of this for those of you who want to just kind of hang out and bead with me. So here I'm taking, I'm just going to go a little bit faster now. So I'm taking a tila, going through this bead, I'm going to come down to attach it. I'm going to pick up, let me grab my purple 11 O's. 11 O, a super duo, and an 11 O, and a Tila. Exiting here, I'm going to sew up through this one. And then attaching it by sewing through this one. Going to pick up an 11 0, super duo 11 0, and a Tila. Exiting here, so up to this one. And then down here to connect it. Make sure you give that a pull. Three 11 0s. Back up through this one. An 11 ohm using the purple here through the super duo, an 11 ohm through the tila, an 11 ohm through the super duo, an 11 ohm through the tila, and then three 11 ohms. I'm going to sew through just the tila at the top here to put that pico on and then back up through this one. So I don't need to reinforce you know the t the um, super duo row. That's what I have. I'm gonna pick up a tila exiting here. I'm gonna sew through this one. And then down this side to connect it. Going for the bugle beads. 15-0, bugle bead, 15-0, and a tila. Exiting here, I'm going to sew up through this tila, and then I'm going to sew down this side to connect it. Fifteen O, bugle bead, fifteen O, and a tila. I sew up through this one. And then down this side to connect it. Th 
three 11 O's. Back up. 15 O, bugle bead. 15 O. Up this one. 15 O, bugle bead. 15 O. Up this one. Three 11 O's. Going down through this tila and all the beads underneath it. As I said, you can do the pico as well. And then back up through all the beads on this side and just coming out the tila like that. And this is what I have. So this is, that's the repeat. So now I'm going to send you off on your own. So don't forget, you're going to do Super Duo, two bugle beads. Super Duo, two bugle beads. All the way down to close to the end. You know, till about that far from your end. And then we're going to finish this off with the one bugle bead row and we'll sort of um, embellish this a little bit. All right, so go off on your own, have fun, and I'll see you back here in a few. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to do a mini so I can get this video posted. So this is where I want you to end before you put on the finding. All right, so I'm just going to, we're going to set up for adding either one of the findings. So I'm going to pick up a Tila. Just going to do what we've been doing so far. I'm going to put on this Tila right here. add my bugle beads, so a 15-0, a bugle bead, a 15-0, and a tila. Just going to sew through this one. So, so far nothing has changed. We're just going to put one row of the bugle beads on. So I'm just going to attach the sky like that. 15-0, bugle bead, 15 0 on the Tila. I'm going to sew through this one. Attach that one on. Like that. This is what I have. I'm going to pick up three of my 11 O's and I'm going to sew through this one. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So just get to that point and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, so now this is where we're coming out. So we're going to pick up a Tila and I'm just going to attach this one right here. So just like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go right through this one and add it on here. I'm going to pick up another one. Just add it on here. So when I put it down, this is what it looks like. I'm going to pick up three 11 O's and I'm going to sew through. I'm just going to sew all the way down through all the beads like we've been doing. Sew the bugle beads in the 15 O's. And then back up this group just all the way up like that. So this is what I have. Now you're going to take your ending. So if you're using this ending, you're just going to sew through all the be the ending. So you're going to come through here through the, all the beads and then go around and reinforce and then your ending is done if you're using this one. Okay, so this is, so you, again, you've come, you're going to go through this hole on the finding, all the way down the tilas, through the findings, back through this one, and then reinforce really well. If you're using this one, just going to set it up like that. Okay, you're going to actually do the same thing. So you're going to see you have this little opening here and there. You're just going to go through the first hole on the 
Tila right here on the bottom through the beads back down make sure you got everybody I did and then see you have to connect on this side so we're just going to sew right through the Tila's again like this and now I'm going down again this way all right so I want that you can even do that again if it doesn't seem snug enough because you want it really you want it nice and snug okay so you know if you want to go through again and then oops so don't let that happen oh I thought I had a, oh, a thread there I didn't okay <laughs> so I just want you to get to this point we're gonna do it slowly um, and then come on back and we'll put um, the beads on and a little bit of um, a pico and then we're done okay we're back so let's get the end on so I'm I'm going to do something weird here. First, I'm just going to pick up three 11 O's and I'm just going to sew through the... My needle wants to go straight through, so don't worry about it. Just pull your needle straight through just to get those three 11 O's on like that. Now I'm going to take my needle off my thread, okay? I'm going to pull the thread out to this point, okay? It's just that this, there's no flexibility in the finding for me to get those beads on. So then I'm just going to take my, my thread in my fingers, pick up a 15-0, a bugle bead, and a 15-0, just like that. And I'm just going to put my thread through the next hole. Let me just, there we go. should go through like that. Okay, so we have that on. Let's do it again. One, two, so 15-0 bugle bead. 15-0, just holding them in my fingers. I'm just gonna slide that thread on through. And now we're all set to continue. So just get to that point and then we'll finish it off. Okay. So now that we have the bugle beads on, we're going to pick up three 11 O's. I'm going to go back down this side through all the beads, back through. Again, you can go through the pico. I'm just going to, I'm going to go through the pico on this one. And then, and then I'm just going to sew right through all these beads that I just put on. Like that. I'm going to go through the pico again. that and back down again so you want to make sure that you reinforce this really well okay so then all I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to reinforce up and down my my piece and make sure that's nice and tight and then I'm going to put on you know put a few half hitch knots in and then come back and we'll just add the clasp okay, let's get the clasp end on so you know let's say my bracelet is done I did both sides so I you know, I did the same thing on this side that I did on the other side. I'm just going to take my jump ring. Ideally, you want about a six millimeter jump ring here. I'm really low on jump ring, so I'm just going to use this. This one looks like it could be a five. I'm just going to put my clasp on one end, and I'm going to just... Well, this one seems to be working. I'll get the proper size for you, and I'll put it in the description box below the video. So that worked out fine, so I'm going to put that end on. And then I'm going to take my other jump ring. There you go. And I'm going to put my charm on and the ring, the other side of my clasp. So it's a little ring that's the um, the hook's going to go in. Whoops. And now you want to put it on here, like that. And you want to make sure that you grind those ends together so they stay in nicely. There you go. We have our little bracelet. Unfortunately, I can't close it <laughs> because it's so tiny. <laughs> but we're all done. So that was kind of fun, wasn't it? And we made that ending work, which I really wanted to because I really want, you know, if you happen to have it, I want you to be able to use it. And it's very pretty. It's got nice chunky silver at the end. So either one. So here you go. Here are our bracelets. I had to borrow the clasp from that one um, 
for the earlier clip, so I'll put that one back on again. Let me move up a little bit. So here you go. Here are our bracelets. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have fun playing with your Tila beads and um, you enjoy making this and post it on Facebook. Um, so I want to thank you again for joining me and I will definitely see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.